the story starts out like many others, except the difference between this normal hunter and the rest. You'll find out soon enough. After achieving every legendary goal and obtaining every item his heart could desire, he had no choice but to pray to the gods to further his knowledge and enlightenment and to also strengthen his battle potential. Loki said that he would teleport this hunter to the docks of Valhalla. And there he would have to make the journey himself. He arrived at the docks, knowing Loki is full of tricks and deception. He had to be careful and ready. As he swam, he could tell that the reality and dimension that he was once in began to twist and form in all kinds of different ways he could never imagine. Fighting through the souls that have been stuck in between Midgard and Valhalla, he finally arrives at the shores where Ragnar and his old fleet, they must be dining in Valhalla. He moves farther up the path. After traveling hundreds of miles through the dead offspring of the World Serpent, he finally gets to his destination. He finds a great Jarl's loyal dire wolf of mythical descent. Loki told him he needed to do a funny dance, so he begins to try and woo the wolf. Of course this fails. He now knows that this was Loki's plan all along is to get him killed. The wolf begins to chase him erratically, viciously. This wolf is far too powerful to run from. He has no choice but to fight. And after days and days of battle, they both roll out of the tunnels and out of the caves. Back to Midgard they seem to be. And it looks like he won the wolf over after all. To battle, they both go. Their first victory together. 